Welcome everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about simple belly breathing. Now you may have heard of belly breathing before and it can sound kind of strange, but it's really pretty simple. It is focusing on moving our breathing out of our chests and down into our bellies. So you might ask, why would we want to do this? And the reason is it has to do with our nervous system. So our sympathetic nervous system is the part of our nervous system that helps us get excited and respond quickly to things that may have to do with safety uh, or anger or a crisis. Our sympathetic nervous system goes into action and speeds our nervous system up. And when that happens, we are breathing out of our chest, sort of shallow uh, breathing kind of <laughs> up here in our chest. And the more we breathe here out of our chest, the more that sends more signals to our body saying, keep getting excited, keep speeding up, something's happening that we need to respond to. And so that's that's fine when we're actually in a crisis and we really do need that response to happen. It's important that our bodies can do that for us. But we may find that in our current lives, we start having that kind of response when we don't really want to. Maybe we have that response just from talking to somebody or because we're sitting in traffic. And we don't necessarily need that kind of systemic arousal, but it's there to try to protect us. So one way that we can work on reducing our anxiety is by activating our parasympathetic nervous system. Our parasympathetic nervous system is the part of our nervous system that says, hey, calm down, everything's fine. And that part of our nervous system is associated with slower, deeper belly breathing. So one of the things that we can do if we're feeling anxious or we would like to try to send calm down messages to our body is we can start trying to do belly breathing. Now, if you're somebody who has experienced anxiety or panic attacks, then you know that when you have a lot of anxiety, or you're starting to have a panic attack, you're breathing very shallow and right up here, <laughs> like that. Uh, and so one of the things you can do to prevent a panic attack, when you start to feel some symptoms coming on, is to start this belly breathing. It can really be helpful and it can help you prevent a panic attack, which can lead to other problems. So, the way that you do this, it's really very simple. You put one hand on your chest and you put another hand on your belly, which you can't see in this video very well, but there it is. So one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. And the first thing to do, close your eyes if you're comfortable and just feel yourself breathe here for a minute. and see if you can tell which one of your hands is moving more. Is it this hand, your chest hand, or is it this hand, your belly hand? If it's your chest hand, then you might be having some shallow breathing and that's okay. It's good to just know where your breathing is happening. If it's your belly hand that's moving more, that's great news. You might already be belly breathing. So here's what we do is go back to concentrating on these two spots for a minute. And when you're first learning how to do belly breathing, I think it really helps to have one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. It's a nice reminder of what we're doing so we don't get too distracted. So let's work on moving our breathing down into our belly. If you're already belly breathing, you've got a little bit of a head start, but this can still help to calm you down even more. So 
concentrate on your breathing. Close your eyes if you can. If you don't want to, that's okay too. And just take a moment and tune in to feeling yourself breathe. Just give yourself permission to let go of other thoughts and worries and just focus into right here, right now, feeling your body breathe. And now see if you can focus on getting your belly to move more than your chest. And this may require kind of faking it a little bit and intentionally sort of pooching out your belly initially to get that air in there because you might not be used to it. So try that, try moving your breathing down into your belly and really exaggerate your belly moving out when you breathe in and then moving back when you breathe out. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. So be easy on yourself. It might feel strange, but just practice moving your breathing down into your belly. Really focusing on moving that belly hand more than your chest hand. And if it helps, you can picture your belly moving, your lower belly really moving in and out as you breathe. You can also try imagining, sort of visualizing the lower part of your lungs filling deeply with air and then expelling it. Sometimes those visuals can help us. And see if you can make your next five breaths really great deep belly breath. Good. Now, this is a skill that takes practice like most relaxation skills. So I would really encourage you to practice this skill every day, even if it's just for five minutes. And the good news is you can be practicing this skill. Nobody else around you even needs to know. You could practice this skill during a staff meeting. You could practice this skill on the bus. You can practice this skill when you just have five minutes alone in your room. So it's really easy to do. The importance of practice though is that next time we really need it, next time we really wanna send those calm down messages to our bodies, we'll be ready and it will be easier for us to reach that calm state. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope it's helpful to you. If you like our channel, please subscribe and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.